how are you all doing? I know it's been a while, well it hasn't been a while because I'm sure you watched my video last week but I have been away on holiday, I'm sure you've noticed my general lack of tan. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's really nice to be able to record again and say hey to everyone. Um, but yeah, I thought this week we could have an interesting discussion about my grail list. Um, I know we've all been there, there have been moments of tears, of joy, tears of sadness, tears of anger, computer screen smashed, the works when it comes to grail hunting and it is a time consuming activity, it takes time, money, energy, emotional energy, all of it and uh, so I thought it was only fair that I shared my grail hunting experiences with all of you. Now. First off, I want to classify what is a grail, which is kind of a complicated one because I have figures in my collection I would consider grail figures. For example, I know I did an unboxing of uh, Miketsu, who's from Omayoji. She wasn't particularly hard to hunt down. That was mainly because I got help from a lovely person on Discord. So thank you, Lava. Um, but basically, while that is yes a figure i consider in my collection to be a grail i didn't spend as much time and energy hunting it as some of these other figures but on top of that i i do feel like grail figures the moment you buy them are they a grail anymore because technically you've achieved the goal of hunting the grail so it's not to say they're not grails but it's like they're retired grails so I'm going to separate this video into three sections. Grails that I'm actively hunting. Grails that are retired, basically either for they're too expensive in the aftermarket or they're just, it's just not possible to find them. Uh, and then I'm going to talk about some grails that I've actually managed to hunt down in the aftermarket. I have five grails that I'm actively hunting for at the moment. The first one is a bit of a sore spot. Actually, I've got two on this list that are a bit of an emotional journey and a bit of a sore spot. But number one is Sword Art Online's Alex, Alice Zuberg. Uh, she's my favorite figure. She's my favorite character. And my favorite figure of her is a one seventh scale figure by Wanderer. You basically never see this figure in the aftermarket. There is another figure of Alice Zuberg that does regularly come up pre-owned on Ami Ami, but I just prefer the Wanderer figure. And I hate the idea of buying a figure that isn't my favorite one of the character. So I'm holding out, especially because I have a very nice prize figure of Alice. Uh, that actually, my partner bought me, it was my first ever figure technically. and. Uh, I really love this figure, so for now it's kind of like stopped me hunting for this figure because I feel like, oh I've already got an Alice figure, you know, it feels a bit of a waste to get another Alice figure, but having said that, as my SEO collection has expanded, I'm noticing the difference between prize figures and scale more and more because my shelf is now full and Alice, while she's a lovely prize figure and I adore her, her quality for a prize is really high, she just looks like a 1 8 scale figure and all the other figures are like 1 7 or actual 1 8 scale figures and she does just look like kind of a child in comparison to the other ones. <laughs> so I kind of, for a figure that is like, she's my favourite character in the anime. When I played a lot of sort of online games, I always wanted Alice figures, I always played as Alice, so she's like, she is kind of my little avatar, and so I feel really upset that I don't have her in my collection. Salt has definitely been poured into the wound because I actually found Alice on Taobao, and I was going to actually buy her a couple of weeks ago, I was so happy I found her. She was on my Excel spreadsheet, and I was literally ready to pull the plug I was just waiting to finish my exams. I finished my exams literally two weeks ago. And I went to check, I think I literally was checking every day to make sure the link was still there, the lead up to buying her. But I was like, no, it should be a treat. You know, you should buy her for 
a goal. So I was waiting to finish my first week of exams and I was going to buy her as like a treat to myself for getting through a week and to kind of inspire me to get through the second week. Two days before I finished my exams, she disappeared off Taobao. She'd been bought. And so since then, I literally can't find her. So if anyone wants to sell this Alice Wanderer figure, I'm here, please sell her to me. I want her so much. She'd be going to such a good home. Um, but yeah, at the moment, I don't have her in my collection. And I think that it was such an upsetting day because I, it was like, I think a day before I had my, my second exam and I just saw she was gone and I was completely devastated. So lesson learned, if you see your grail figure, just buy her, don't hit her or him, don't wait, just buy your grail figure, don't let them sit there. And so moving on, we will start with the safer work figures as well and then I'll move on to the not safer work figures. Number two is from Naruto Shippenden, and it's a Rock Lee figure. It's a one-tenth scale figure by Tsume, I think they're called. And I just love Rock Lee. He's my ultimate, he's ultimate best boy. He is my favorite male character of any anime. I love him. He like, he's so positive. His personality is so happy-go-lucky, can do, the underdog who always achieves. And I remember there was some bad battles that happened to him in Naruto. I was bawling my eyes out to the point where I had to, I literally had to pause it and ask my partner, does it get better? Does everything work out? And my partner was like, yes, it does get better. It's all fine in the end. And then only at that point when I knew Rock Lee was gonna be okay, would I continue watching Naruto. This is how invested I am, am in this character, especially I'm now like, I think about 350 episodes, maybe 380 episodes into Naruto. So like, yeah, my love for, for Rock Lee has just grown. He is just great. So, but this figure isn't particularly expensive. I think like I saw it be sold six months ago for like 60 euros, but he's just never for sale. Like you just can't find him. I think as he's an older figure, I mean, he came out November 2016, so it's understandable that he's hard to find. But yeah, I really want this figure. He's super small though, but I just want a Rock Lee. I need a mascot figure to put on my desk so that I can look at him and feel inspired. He even comes with two face plates, uh, which I love. And yeah, I just want this figure. Uh, it's not about price, he's just sentimental value. My third figure, which I'm technically not hunting down, purely because I can't afford her at the moment. <laughs> She's just too expensive. My third figure is Celestina Ludenberg from Danganronpa. I just love the design of this figure. It's by my ethos, so it's a 1 7 scale figure. And it came out in April 2018, so actually, a while ago but not super long ago but she's basically impossible to find and you never see her below i'd say like 300 pounds that's kind of the going rate for her now um i really want to add her to my casino themed shelf um but yeah i can't really afford 300 pound on a figure at the moment um so she is just kind of on the wish list permanently till the point where maybe one day I guess I get a pay rise or you know a Christmas bonus or something and then I'll be like yes bye. Next we're moving on to the not safe for work figures and I would say this next figure is probably my all-time ultimate grail. I think I would actually sacrifice figures in my collection for this girl um, and that is Caroline Yuri. Uh, she's an original character by Winding, I think she's a quarter scale bunny and she's just beautiful I just saw her and fell in love but her aftermarket is like $600 and it's like okay well I don't really have that money at the moment so yeah and I was kind of kicking myself recently because she came out for sale for $330 on MFC and I literally messaged straight, the moment I saw the uh, message, I think I messaged like, I think two hours after the advert came up and she'd already gone. And 
it was kind of particular salt rubbed into the wound because the person who did manage to get her off the cellar then posted on the Reddit being like, yay, I got my dream grail. I was like, oh, you got the grail I wanted. <laughs> but you know, hopefully I managed to find her some point. I honestly will eventually just be happy to pay the ridiculously crazy aftermarket cost because I just love her so much. I just think she's honestly the best bunny in the market. She's stunning. Um, but yeah, I just unfortunately can't afford her at the moment. So yeah, she's kind of top of the list, but also hasn't been a priority yet just because of the actual capital needed to buy her. Final figure on this list is another bunny figure. And it's interesting because I don't really have any bunny figures in my collection, but there are two on my grail list. So the second one is Black Lagoon Revy and she recently came out with a bare leg version however i managed to find this figure on taobao with the tights the original figure that came out was with tights and i just really like the tight version the bare leg just isn't the same and when i found her on taobao with the tights i was like yes and i bought her and she was meant to get shipped into my super buy warehouse and three and a half weeks just went by and she just wasn't being delivered so i ultimately had to cancel her because they probably didn't have stock of her and there was just there comes a point there's nothing you can do like i can't just wait indefinitely for a figure to come into the warehouse so unfortunately i had to cancel her after talking to my agent at super buy who said that the link was, you know, was infected or something, meaning probably it, it wasn't a real figure. And so I did get reimbursed, uh, which like that's the one great thing when you buy on Taobao using Supervisor Proxy. If you don't get your figure, you can always get your money back. So that's really good. Um, but I just feel quite crushed that I didn't get this figure because I was just so close and I was like, yes, I was getting so smug. I was like, I managed to find the one with the tights and no i didn't i just found a figure that didn't exist so at least i got my refund um but yeah i'm still on the hunt for this figure and oh yeah starting again is just like such hard work after you get kind of a false promise of getting the figure but we all have moments of being let down so it's fine i'll keep hunting for her i still really want her I want to go through a quick fire round of honorable mentions lists these are figures that aren't on my grail list, either because, well, to be honest, most of them are not safe for work figures, but also I just cannot afford that aftermarket. It's just too expensive. So they have been axed off the list. And there will be two super pricey ones first. That is Buster and Anubis by Binding. They're both quarter scale, kind of Egyptian, kind of foxy dog girls. Um, they're great, they're beautiful, I love them. They have dark skin, which is so rare for like figures. There just aren't very many in the like figure market. And I love them, but they're just too expensive in the aftermarket. Like you just don't wanna look at their prices. If you don't know about them, don't look because it's just eye watering. Another one that's kind of a similar aesthetic is Olga Discordia by Binding, another quarter scale figure. She was released even earlier than Anubis and Bastet, and her aftermarket is, I think, even more. So, yep, she doesn't even make it on the list. Another one is Laura Mischief. She's a set one seventh scale figure by Native. She's so cute. I adore her. And I have a feeling she might make the Grails list at some point in the future. But for now, I'm not focusing on her, but she's very, very cute. I know her aftermarket is also inflated. And I have two Neko Para figures, and especially I think I started looking at these again since the new uh, figures came out of uh, Chocolate and Vanilla, and they're super beautiful. But again, I have this thing where I'm like, if I'm gonna get a figure, it has to be the one I really, really want. And so there are two Neko Para figures where they're on shares by Native. And they're one seventh, yeah, they're one seventh scale figures. Oh, I just love them. I just, for me, they are the perfect Neko Para chocolate and vanilla figures. And I really, really want them. They'll be my first not safe for work 
fully not safer work without a safer work option figure to collect. I definitely want to collect these at some point and I will hunt them down in the aftermarket. So they're a future grey orc figure but they're not on the list at the moment. Finally, I actually missed out on picking up these figures and that is Odette and Adil. They're ballerina figures by Skytube and they're 1 6 scale. I think they're beautiful and I actually saw them come up pre-owned on Ami Ami and I just didn't think I'd have space to put them so I kind of let them go and it turns out I did have a space that I could put them and yeah now I guess I have to hunt them in the aftermarket when I, I literally just watched them go past me it's just so stupid but I think it was before I really thought about them and whether I wanted them but I'm now going to list three figures that were grails and I got them and I don't have them yet but I'm waiting for them they're being sent to me on a ship so hopefully I'll see them in the next six months but we'll see and first one is Save Alter Kimono version by Katie Cole a 1 7 fix scale figure she got a very limited time re-release on Ami Ami and I managed to snag an order for her there was actually another one of my grails was uh, Darkness from Konosuba, her Oiran version. They did a re-release as well of her and I missed out on this one and I was so upset. So I just knew I had to be sitting there waiting for this figure to come out and I was, I refreshed, I clicked, I pre-ordered and honestly the moment I pre-ordered the website crashed, I went to check again and all the figures had been sold out. So I'm really happy that I was able to get this figure. Unfortunately, with uh, EMS being cancelled for Ami Ami, I've had to send her surface, but I don't care. She is worth the wait. She's my ultimate grail. Uh, she's been top of my list for so long, so I'm so excited for her to arrive. And then I'll go back on to Darkness. Darkness Oyaran version was one of my other figures. I love this figure so much. I've literally watched the whole of Konosuba. And just funnily enough, Darkness was my favourite character. I just love her personality, I think she's great. Her design of her figure, her Katie Cole figure, is just stunning. And so I just had to have her. And so I ended up, when I missed out on the order on Ami Ami when they did the limited time re-release, I ended up, I just paid for her on Swarish Japan. I paid the inflated aftermarket price, I just caved because uh, I was so upset about missing her and I just said why am I torturing myself just pay the extra money I think I was on like negotiating maybe buying her from an MSC uh, figure uh, seller from the UK but I got a bit funny about it because the price was getting like like it excluded shipping when I calculated shipping it was getting more expensive and then on top of that the uh, seller then wanted to charge me for PayPal fees and I don't know what happened, I just snapped because I think at this point the price difference was only like £20 more expensive to buy on Solaris Japan. So I just bought on Solaris Japan and when stuff is, it's just not worth it buying second hand, at least with a retailer, I'm guaranteed to get my figure first hand. So I fell for a £20 price difference, it was worth just sucking it up and buying on Solaris. And then my final figure. I've hunted for this figure since I began figure collecting, so I've all got so close to getting her every time I missed her, and that is the Kana figure, kimono version figure by Furyu. I absolutely adore Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. Kana's my favourite character, I adore her, and I have wanted a figure of her for so long. And I know some figures, really nice figures, have come out for her, of her recently. I just love her little kimono design. I just couldn't, I couldn't get over how cute it was. And I feel so frustrated at myself because I remember back in the day, one of my gaming friends was talking about this figure being, going up for pre-order. And I was like, oh, that's a really nice figure. It's so cute. So I completely missed the pre-order. The figure then came out and it was still on the aftermarket. And I was like, it was just because it's quite an expensive figure i just kept postponing buying it to try and save up a bit of extra money and then i don't know if you've had this experience with figures figures one day they're they're in stock and then they're gone they're just they're not available anywhere and they just completely dry up on the market and then you have to wait for them to kind of be available on the second hand market and obviously there are many kind of figures and she just kind of disappeared and 
her price just on Zara's Japan just kept going up and up and up and up and I just caved and bought her. I was so scared about not ever having this figure. I just bought her. I was like, I'm not waiting anymore. I know she's tiny. I just don't care. I will be crushed if I don't have this figure in my collection. So yeah, I bought her and then I sent her surfers to try and get some money back on shipping um, to try and make myself feel better about the ridiculous aftermarket price I paid for her. We'll have to see when she arrives if she was worth it, but at the moment I have no regrets. <laughs> so yeah, that is a comprehensive list of all of my grails. I would really love to hear what your thoughts are on whether do grails retire, and do you have any grail figures yourself? What are you, what's your grail list? And how long is it? Is it five figures? Is it longer than this? Um, so yeah, please comment below, and if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And hopefully I hear you from you guys next week and get to see you here. It'd be really nice. Uh, so have a lovely day, everyone. Bye.